Playing the national anthem is as much a part of sporting events as hot dogs and yelling at the officials. But PIHL Commissioner Ed Sam sent out an email to the 183 high school hockey teams in the central and western part of the state saying that the singing of the national anthem is not permitted. The national anthem uh, should not be played only because of the time constraints. Okay, it's not that we're not patriotic. That's that's the furthest from the truth. Man, High school hockey shot. must rent its ice time. So every game is carefully timed to get in as many as possible in the shortest amount of time. Ice is very, very hard to get, okay? And it's not cheap. And we're talking $300 an hour sometimes. So when the time of a game is up, play is stopped, even if the game is running over because of an overly verbose singing of the national anthem, which happened recently. The coach could protest because the national anthem was played. No, they should just extend the time period that they have to play the game. I don't agree with it. I think it's a bad policy. I think there's got to be some other time that can be cut. Commissioner Sam points out the teams aren't prohibited from playing the anthem, just discouraged. I go back to the 1960s with high school hockey, and we've always played the national anthem. So I think I think that it's uh, something that should be done. It's part of our, our, our history and our, our country and absolutely should be part of the game. Uh, yeah, Mock we suggests uh, a pre-recorded standardized and minute and a half version for all games. Really nice. The story isn't over, Sam says, because of the backlash that they've been getting, they're gonna have another meeting, they're gonna talk about it and see if there isn't some way that they can make some adjustments to put the anthem back into the games. At Center Ice in Delmont, Westmoreland County, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.